Hello everyone, this is Lana with Lana Bellana Design and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing with Stitch Die Club of the Month from Spellbinders and um, I have already pre-cut and stitched my die cuts here and what I have in my hands here is a card base that I created using the big die that is also included in the kit. Now this idea came from my crafty friend Crafty Al or Alicia and I will link her video down below so you can refer it to and see how uh, this is actually done. Uh, now what I am going to do next is cut a uh, card panel and this paper that I'm using is from Cardstock Warehouse and this paper is called uh, Red Hot and it is 100 pound cardstock. Next what I am going to show you just a real, uh, real trick here. Um, you will see that there's some washi tape left on my card base here and as you can see it did tear off my paper here but I'm not worried because this is going to be uh, covered but if you don't want this to happen to you just simply heat up the washi tape and gently peel it off and it should come off without any issues. Um, now again I'm not worried about that because this is going to be covered but just in case if you ever run into this problem you know what to do. Another tip what I like to do and uh, tell to all my viewers is that this little eraser is meant for uh, erasing glue but it's also good for removing all that little um, gunk so to speak that you have on your die cutting plates if your die cutting plates are not as clean you will get some little little fuzzies on your on your paper so that eraser will definitely help get rid of it and we are now moving to the assembly what i like about this love die is that it cuts every little letter separately which is a good thing because you get to arrange this word however you want you can arrange it horizontally or vertically however you want there's no right or wrong and i think that's a big advantage when it comes to this die Next, I am simply arranging these die cuts around my uh, words here, my, my love. <laughs> and um, my original idea was to form a wreath around it, but because of the shape of my card base, I really wasn't able to do that. I will, however, uh, try to do this some other time in another a project that I have in mind but for right now I am simply attaching these cute little dies just to uh, complete this card and as you can see it looks so beautiful and I just love these colors and now we are moving to the card number two but before we start with that assembly I am going to show you how this die set or stitch die of the month club dies look like you will get this big die word love and all these little critters that will cut these beautiful shapes that you can use later on for different projects so for this second card i chose a little bit different colors i love this color combination by the way pink 
and orange are one of my favorite color combinations and that is what I am going with this time. I am again attaching the card panel to my card base. I did the same thing as I did with the previous card. The only thing that is going to be different with this card is this inlay. Now, what is an inlay? Inlay is a technique where you put the die cut pieces back or inlay them into the original opening. Now, these pieces can be cut from a different color, uh, different color cardstock or pattern. In my case, I cut and stitched the word love. And in order for this technique to look good, you have to save all the little pieces that were cut and add them into empty spaces. Otherwise, the project will not look as polished. And there is only one last thing that I need to do to this card and that is embellish it with all those die cuts that I previously stitched just like I did with my first card and the card is done. And that is all I have for you today. Now I do have to admit one thing that Stitching for me does take a little bit of time, but I absolutely love the results. I love how these two cards turned out. This hot pink and orange with a little bit of green is just such a cool and striking card. And of course, another color combination that is hot pink and red. And I think these color combos are one of my absolute favorites and I really wish you could try it. Um, I would like to thank Spellbinders for sending me these goodies every month to play with and to show them to you. I hope you like this project. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And also, don't forget to check out my Instagram page because there will be some more very cool inspirations uh, coming your way and I think you're going to like it. Again, thank you all so much for coming and see you next month with something new from Spellbinders. Bye-bye.